As I've said it for longer than seven years, I have never doped. He has told ESPN on the record and on camera that back in 95, when the team was struggling, that you announced to the team that you were going to begin doping. If it can't be any clearer that I've never taken drugs. What do you say to that account? Now again, complete nonsense. How could it have taken place when I've never taken performance against the drugs? We have nothing to hide. We have nothing to, to run from. If, uh, if anybody has any questions, we'd be more than happy to ask them. You have never taken any performance against a drug in connection with your cycling career. Correct. Why would I then enter into a sport and dope myself up and risk my life again? That's crazy. I would never do that. that, that that's no. No way. Emma O'Reilly, she has details an incident where your team, she says, asked her to carry pills from Spain into France and personally deliver to you pills in Nice. Was that accurate? Emma O'Reilly was paid for her testimony in the book. Right. Now, what kind of author, what kind of publisher, uh, what kind of a book actually pays sources? Did you see Lance Armstrong receiving transfusion? Yes. Who had lost his credibility a long time ago. More than one? Uh, yes, multiple times. He has nothing. He's got no proof. It's, it's his word versus ours. <laughs> Again, not true. Did you see Lance Armstrong using other performance-enhancing drugs? At times, yeah, at different training camps. It's all much more. Independently, why would they say these things that you say are not true? Um, I ask myself that every day.